Start by removing the lid from the terminal box. Strip the pump's power cable. Insert the cable gland onto the cable. Mount the cable gland onto the terminal box. Connect the wires to the contactors. Start to the live. And then the neutral. Then mount the earthing cable. Put the lid back in place. Remove the plastic plug from the pump discharge. Apply sealing thread tip on both ends of the socket. Screw the socket onto the pump discharge. Mount the hex nipple and tighten it. Ensure the press control faces upside down. A small arrow shows the direction of the water flow. Apply sealing thread tip onto the press control thread. Mount the press control on the fitting. Strip the power input cable for the press control. Remove the press control lid. Unscrew the cable gland and insert it onto the cable. Mount the cable gland onto the press control so the cable ends are inside the terminal box. Mount the wire ends into the terminals, starting with the live and the neutral wires. Then the earth wire. Strip the power output cable. Insert it into the cable gland and secure it. Mount the wire ends, beginning with the earth wire, then the live and neutral wires. Secure the wire connections with the cable separator and tighten it. Put the lid back in place and tighten the screws. Strip the power supply cable. Now the pump and the press control is ready to be connected to the power source. Remove the plug from the suction end of the pump. Insert the suction pipe into the pump suction. Connect the suction pipe to the supply and secure it. Connect the power cables. Apply sealing thread tip onto the discharge of the press control. Screw the discharge pipe onto the press control. Connect the other end of the discharge pipe to the desired discharge. Open first the inlet valve Then the outlet valve. Switch on the pump. 
The press control will now start the pump on pressure and stop it on low flow, protecting it from dry running.